hello guys welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial i am going to make a pipe wise assembly and in the previous three or four tutorials we have made all these parts which are going to be uh, fixed uh, over this assembly so let's start the assembly and uh, uh, don't save cancel it okay let's open a new part select assembly units millimeter and uh, uh, assign the name as you want so now it is asking to add a component so for open select this folder for open and uh, 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 let's bring the base part okay on the screen this is my base part and it should be fixed so after applying select uh, finish constraint over here and select the geometry now this part is fixed as as uh, with respect to another parts this part is fixed and now let's bring the another uh, part the next part which i am going to bring here this is screw okay i'm not going to assemble the screw uh, first with this select apply and uh, apply sorry not a fix okay and cancel uh, now the uh, bring this screw part outside from the base select move component for this now it is asking to select the component this is my component and specify the orientation and uh, draw the component at yc direction and uh, rotate the component around 180 degrees apply and cancel now it's time to bring a movable jaw here by selecting this folder select the movable jaw and this movable jaw is going to fixed uh, underneath this screw part so for this uh, i will assemble this screw uh, in this small screen and select the made the center by selecting this uh, infer center axis select this axis of this cylindrical portion and the axis of this cylindrical portion apply and uh, okay i can't see it clearly so for this i'm going to cancel it yes cancel bring that part uh, okay let's hide this part okay add component select movable jaw apply okay apply as uh, so made the uh, center of this hole with the center of this hole and uh, uh, rotate it around so that you can see this uh, bottom face clearly select uh, touch option from uh, the constraint and now select the face of this movable jaw uh, upward face and the downward face of the screw and apply and cancel and now it is at is its place okay the next thing is uh, unhide uh, the base okay i'm going to fix uh, this base uh, uh, this is screw and movable jaw in the base so for this what I'm going to do is uh, let's move the component uh, okay let's not move it select assembly constraint select center made the center of, of these two holes apply and cancel drag it upward direction by selecting move component drag this screw select specify orientation drag it upward size upward side and rotate it about 80 degrees sorry 90 degrees and drag it a little bit upward more apply and cancel now assign the distance by selecting assembly constraint and we have another constraint is called the distance constraint select the bottom face of this uh, screw face and select the bottom of this base top portion now you can drag this arrow upward and downward to adjust your height uh, and you can adjust this according to your convenience okay it is 19 point something apply and cancel 
okay let's bring another part which i have select this add component select again folder now it's time to bring this handle here okay this handle is going to be fixed inside this hole so for this you have to uh, again uh, made the center of this stick to the, the center of the screw hole by selecting infer center axis select the axis of this screw and select the axis of of the screw hole and uh, select apply apply and okay now i want to drag it uh, a little bit inside so that uh, it can be the same length at both side uh, for selecting for this I'm selecting move component and now it is asking to you select the component which you want to move specify the rotation let's drag it a little bit at the right play at the right side so drag it how much you want okay now it is in the place so for this apply uh, some uh, distance constraint select the distance constraint select this outer face and the face of this cylinder now you can easily drag it according to your convenience I'm feeding here 75 apply and cancel now it's time to bring another component which is handle screw the handle is going to fix at this these two places so again for this the same process is here also select touch and align select the center made the center of this screw and the center of handle screw face now again select the touch because i want to uh, that I want that this face should touch this face apply and ok now let's bring this screw again by selecting a adding components like the folder and select and now the same process is going to be here uh, for this select infer center axis made the center of handle screw with the ma made the center of uh, handle and uh, touch I want that this face will touch this face and apply and cancel and ok now all the screw are at their places now my assembly is completed apply now it's time to hide the constraint by selecting control by pressing control key select all these constraint and right click and hide it Press the control key, select all the constraint and right click and I'm going to hide all, all of these. So this is my assembly of uh, uh, pipe wise. Actually guys we have already uploaded a bench wise assembly if you go through our uh, CAD CAM solution channel if you go if you gone through our videos you will see there is another uh, pipe wise uh, assembly video we have already uploaded but the thing is we hadn't we we hadn't upload the individual part videos so that's how that's that's why I'm making this assembly video because uh, I had made I have made a uh, separate videos of all these parts so that you can make these parts uh, by your own by watching the tutorial and uh, the thing is I'm going to show you the exploded view so for this you have to choose assembly now there you can see an exploded view select new explosion name the explosion as you want and press the ok button and the thing is select added explosion uh, now it is asking you select the object now I'm selecting the object movable jaw uh, check uh, select the move object now you can see there is a, a three uh, arrows showing uh, over this movable jaw select the handle from the top and drag it to the bottom okay you can place the movable jaw as you want I'm just showing you the the process and select object again select the screw and uh, press shift key to deselect this movable jaw and select movable object moved ob uh, move object and uh, drag this uh, uh, drag the screw uh, about z axis z axis let's drag it about uh, uh, Okay, 
cancel it select add is edit explosion uh, select object I'm going to select the screw first S move object drag this screw upward and press apply select object again select the screw bar and press shift key to deselect the screw and uh, move the object outward direction I think it is okay select apply now again select the object by and deselect the screw bar by pressing shifting key select these two objects move handle and uh, and you can place them uh, where you want it it is totally up to you apply and select again the object move object okay now this is the exploded view of my pipe vice assembly and press it okay and apply and select uh, true shading now you can see your parts are in exploded view so guys this is my tutorial of uh, pipewise assembly and we have made already the tutorial of all these parts separately so go through go through these tutorials and uh, try to practice make this to uh, try to practice and try to make all these part by yourself by watching tutorial and uh, i hope you like this tutorial and if you like please like and subscribe our channel thank you